my advice for myself when I'm having a bad day. Definitely not overthinking and making it worse because I do that. Depends. Depends on like how bad a day, I guess. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, um, what was I saying? My advice for what to do on a bad day, or like what I do. <laughs> I didn't expect myself to start crying, but uh, this psyche where you're trying to be alpha. I know a lot of people try to be alpha, and it is so annoying. Yeah, trying to force myself doing things doesn't always work. we have to show that we're the best, it's like, it means that guys don't really want to talk about their feelings and they're scared to and they're scared of being ridiculed. Also tell myself to stop giving myself such a hard time because I don't deserve it. To allow myself to not be perfect all the time. It's absolutely okay to be a beginner. Don't be uh, afraid to reach out to other people. It's okay to do that. myself and to let it be and just like be present in whatever you're doing or drinking tea or just sitting. To not feel guilty about sitting and doing nothing. Yeah, sometimes I punish myself a little bit. We do not allow ourselves to be sad and make mistakes. We put on a pretty smile and act all fake. Just to look nice, our mental health we sacrifice. As the anger builds up, we explode and pay the price. We are ashamed of others, and we don't share imagining the worst outcome. We get scared by suppressing emotions, we become our worst enemy. Our bodies get weaker and our brains lose sanity. Paradoxically, we can only hear when we accept the pain. And welcome how we feel, five minutes of writing. Or calling a friend can put your mind at ease from always trying to pretend. When you are blocking them, they become a distraction So drop your baggage and you're ready to take action You put the rainbow of emotions in an embrace They don't control you anymore and it puts you in a better place So I ask myself Is it okay To allow myself permission to be human So I ask myself
I always try and look after myself in ways that I know I appreciate, like staying in bed. And <laughs> to keep playing music. Step away from the situation. Exercise in a fun way and be around the people that you really like. Physical exercise is good, but make sure that it's something that you actually like. Get tired by doing something you enjoy. I enjoy cleaning. I like it. I like to create um, dishes as well, and I get <laughs> I love flavours. Um, playing around with flavours. The double chocolate ones with the white chocolate. Just know that you are loved. Like hugging myself, it makes me feel, I don't know, like protected or safe. Calling my mum to hear her familiar voice. And call my mum, because she's, I don't know what it is, she's got like healing powers, I'm pretty sure. Go see the dog, because she always makes me happy. She makes everyone happy, because she's so happy. Watching funny things and drinking tea, having a bath. If you don't talk about it, it's just going to be a constant problem. I'll tell them how you're feeling, you're not a burden. People will listen to you if you, uh, if you reach out to them. I seem to remember that. Expressing the feelings is really helpful, like just writing. When you've got, when you've just emptied out your mind of what's going on, you realize how empty and just like how light your shoulders feel. So definitely talking. If you're having a bad day, it will come to an end. So it's gonna be okay. See?